for skimmers to be sent. It fell on deaf ears of this president. He was busy shooting hoops and playing golf. 40,000 men were losing jobs down along the Gulf. From day one, Obama said, he was on the oil spill. How that man can lie should make America chill. Obama played golf. VPs Hayward watched a yacht race. Those who were affected by the spill were slapped in the face. Obama sent millions of dollars to the country of Brazil. Of course, it was okay for them to go ahead and drill. He put a six-month moratorium on drilling in the Gulf, but a federal judge in New Orleans had the guts to call his bluff. Obama came to Louisiana to show his disgust. He only showed his ignorance. He just had to cuss. You could tell he wasn't serious. It was just for show. He will do anything to protect his ego. Got that right. Tar balls and oil film just keep washing in, devastating a way of life for trappers and fishermen. There are many screwballs in Washington, D.C. Messing up life for millions, including you and me. No, they can't be trusted. Far short they fall. That's what's been elected. A bunch of liberal screwballs. <laughs> they lied about the health care bill. They lied about immigration. They have no intentions of finding illegals in our nation. Obama won't answer the serious questions those who ask are behooved. You can tell when they lie when their lips start to move. <laughs> Once we had good men walking the Capitol's hallowed halls, but instead of good men, we have a bunch of screwballs. Tar balls and screw balls right now for our plight. It's got her mind off of high tax they pass during the night. Mother Nature will take care of much of the tar balls. We'll take care of the screw balls in the election this fall. BP has capped this well. Just how much damage has been done, no one can tell. Will they lift the moratorium now that the well has been capped? Or continue to make excuses with more of Obama's crap? <laughs> Obama is on vacation while all rigs leave the Gulf. When it comes to destroying jobs, he just can't get enough. When I hear his rhetoric, it makes my blood boil. If he wanted Americans to have jobs, he let us drill for gas and oil. <laughs> Obama was giving a commencement speech to some Pennsylvania students. Without his teleprompter, he wasn't very prudent. He said, don't blame others if your goals you have missed. Follow my pattern that goes like this. Don't blame your coach. Don't blame your teacher. Don't blame your priest. And don't blame your preacher. 
do like I do when show comes to push for all my failures. I blame George Bush. One more time. Yep. <laughs> Don't blame your coach. Don't blame your teacher. Don't blame your priest. And don't blame your preacher. Do like I do when shove comes to push. For all my failures, I blame George Bush. One more time. <laughs> All right, let's go, everybody. Don't blame your coach. Don't blame your teacher. Don't blame your priest. And don't blame your preacher. Do like I do when shove comes to push.